This video is for those who have difficulty starting their generator or for the ones that it's all of a sudden quit on and they can't figure out what's going on. Make sure you haven't run out of fuel. Make sure you are using diesel automotive fuel only, not off-road or heating oil, kerosene or anything else. Check under the fuel tank. Make sure the fuel valve is open or on. There may also be another fuel valve on a, an external fuel filter. This rubber fuel line, remove it. Undo this clip. Put some paper towel underneath. You want fuel to run out and replace any air that might be trapped inside it because the pump cannot pump air. It can only pump fuel. And if there's an air bubble in there, your engine would have stalled and won't run. You will have fuel pour out now. Let it run out a bit till you're confident there's no more air in the fuel lines and replace it. The fuel pump now has fuel, not air, and it can do its job and pump. Make sure everything's replaced and cleaned up. The run stop lever should be in the run position on the right. You can loosen the high pressure fuel line about half a turn, crank the engine. And seeing this fuel spraying out is just a confirmation that the fuel pump is working and everything's fine. You can tighten it back up again. Remove the four screws here that be holding down the cover on the top of the engine. It's easy to get to on an open frame diesel like this one. That's the high pressure fuel line that's going to the fuel injector and the return fuel line going back to the fuel tank. I'm going to loosen the high pressure fuel line from my fuel injector. I'm going to bleed out some air by cranking again and allowing fuel to spray out. To confirm again the fuel pump is working and to replace any air that might be in the fuel line if I ran out of fuel. With a paper towel in place, you should notice it getting fuel soaked from the uh, fuel. And confirm that the pump is pumping and fuel's getting up to here just fine. Now some generators on the fuel pump have an electric switch that's used to shut off this fuel supply with a remote control to turn off your generator. It has a fuse and then the blue line goes to the top of another component, which is your magnetic fuel switch. This generator you just saw, part looks like this. It had a blue wire and the fuse that you should check. If the magnet doesn't work, you will have no fuel going to your fuel pump and then no fuel coming out of your high pressure fuel lines. I'm going to test it here. Pretend it was installed in a fuel pump. You could always remove it, take the plunger out to disable it and it'll never block the fuel passageway going to your pump. Now, if you ever want to turn off your generator, you have to use the run-stop lever instead of the, the key switch on the front of the generator to turn it off. Testing is easy. 12 volts on one side. Positive. Negative to the case. If you don't hold on to it, it's going to fly out of your hands. This one is obviously working. And if this generator had it, I'd put it back in and go back and see if it was just air in the fuel lines that caused me not to have any fuel come out of the high-pressure fuel lines.